Hello, today I'm going to show you how can you track financial status of your program using Power Apps. As usual, I'm here in Power Apps in Project and I am going to choose program. I have one program only, so I will double click on it and I will go to financials. Here on the uh, uh, left side, you can see that, that I previously entered that the budget for the whole program is 10 millions, the benefits are uh, 30 millions, a return of investment uh, was uh, calculated, and remaining budget uh, allocation is uh, also uh, calculated. How can I have those numbers? First of all, project budget is here 6 million. Uh, local currency, Croatian local currency, Kunas. So if you look at this screen, you will see that I don't have possibilities to enter actual costs for the program, which is normal situation because the actual costs for the program are, the, uh, those are calculated according to status of each and every project which belongs to this program. So let me explain it again. If I go to projects, I will see that I have three projects. ERP project, web project, and web shop project. All uh, of them uh, belong to one single program. Okay, this program. Budget for the ERP project is 3 million kunas. Uh, web for web project is 1 million kunas and for web shop project is 2 million kunas. In total, this is 6 million kunas. Benefits are 6 million, 1 million and 200,000 and 5, uh, 5 million. So if I go back to financials, I will see that project budget is total amount of all budgets uh, for all projects in uh, uh, my program. It is sum of budgets for each and every uh, uh, budget for each and every uh, project. Project uh, benefits are also calculated as sum of benefits of uh, each and every project under the program. And actual cost is calculated according to actual cost which were entered into, the, into each and every project. Few minutes uh, ago, I uh, created my previous video uh, from a uh, few days ago, and I will show you one interesting thing. If you go to projects here, and let's say I choose ERP projects, okay? If I go now, I'm in my project tab, I'm in projects, in, I'm in my ERP project. If I go to financials, I will see, and if you saw my previous video that I explained, how to where I explained how to put actual cost for each and every project. I entered one million and eight hundred thousand kunas actual cost for this project. Let's say that I now save and close and I go to web project. So I'll double click on it. I will go to financial and I will say that actual cost is let's say one hundred thousand. Okay, and I will save it. I have remaining budget, which is 1 million minus 100,000 is uh, uh, nine, uh, 900,000. And that's great. But if you see, I have here actual cost. If you look at my actual cost for this web project, uh, here is 100,000. And if you go to ERP project, here is, let's say, financials, 1 million and 800,000. In total, it should be 1,900,000. But if I go to program here, and if I choose this program, and if I go to financials, I will see that my project actual cost is zero. This is not an error. This is just a thing how Microsoft uh, uh, Power Ups works. You can see that this, is, uh, this uh, was last updated at 1st of January. So when you enter actual cost uh, in specific project, you should wait some time. Sometimes it's, it is a couple of hours. Sometimes it's maybe up to 12 or 13 hours. But it will be shown here. So if you don't see immediately after you put 
actual costs here in your project, okay, here in financials, if you don't see those sum of all your projects into your program here under the financials, you don't have to be worried. You just have to wait some time. Also, project remaining budget will be calculated with uh, uh, in uh, in a way that uh, from six millions, which is budget for all projects, uh, the project actual cost for all projects will be subtracted, and the remaining will be uh, difference between project budget and project actual costs. So, uh, as you can see, to conclude, for the program, you don't have possibility to enter actual costs. All of uh, them are calculated according to what you entered for each and every project into actual costs. So for each and every project under financials, actual costs. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.